Okay, 1.2, I'm gonna jump over to the notes. So this section is solving using the quadratic formula. So we learn all these tools to solve quadratics. So far you've learned graphing, factoring, and then taking the square root. So the quadratic formula is something that works every time for any quadratic. If this is the only thing you remember, this, that's great. So the quadratic formula works for any quadratic. Although sometimes it's easier to factor or use the square root method. So standard form is really important. It has to be in this form. So your x squared and the number next to x squared is a, followed by your x term. The number next to that is b. And then c is your constant. It's the number without x. And then must equal 0 before you can do quadratic formula, just like factoring. It had to equal 0. So this is it. x equals, those are our x values that we're solving for. There's two of them. Negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we're plugging in these values, the a, b, and c, into this formula. Okay, so we're going to start with something that we could easily factor but we're gonna use the quadratic formula just to, to show that it works as well. So first is identify A, B, and C. So A is the number next to X squared. There's not a number next to X squared, there is. It's a one, it's invisible. Remember when we factor, we like when that is one. So a is 1, b is the number next to x, negative 3, and c is the constant, negative 4. So remember the signs. If they're positive and negative numbers, that needs to come along with them. Okay, so x equals negative b. I'm substituting in b. Negative 3 plus or minus the square root and then b again, b squared. So negative 3 squared minus 4a. And I'm going to put a in parentheses because we're multiplying. This is 4 times a times c. 4ac. c is negative 4. And then it's one big fraction all over... 2 times a, a is 1. So first step is find a, b, and c. Second step is substitute those values in to the formula. Third step is simplify the square root part first. Okay, so I'm going to just look at this part. Okay, so I have negative 3 squared minus 4ac, which is 25. So I have x equals negative negative makes a positive. So I have positive 3 now plus or minus the square root of 25 divided by 2. And I really, really hope that you're like perfect square. What's the square root of 25? 5. So I'm going to rewrite it down here. x equals positive 3 plus or minus 5 over 2. So we simplified the square root. And our next step is to split the plus or minus, just like we did before. So I have 3 plus 5 divided by 2, 3 minus 5 divided by 2. And then fifth step is to simplify your fractions. So 3 plus 5 is 8 over 2, which is 4. 
3 minus 5 is negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. So x equals 4 and negative 1 would be our answers to this. Remember, if we were to factor it, we'd get the same answers.